where is Cthulhu I'm back? Um, obviously I've been gone for a while. Reason being is I joined the army and obviously can't have my phone through uh, OSET. Then uh, I was in hold for airborne school and it didn't have a good connection. Uh, plus no Wi-Fi. So that meant no, uh, no uploading anything. Then uh, at airborne school is actually busy, obviously falling down a lot. And uh, now I'm here, and I've got a stable Wi-Fi connection, so I can actually start playing relatively a lot. I don't know, more than nothing, I guess. And I can start uploading videos now, because I've got Wi-Fi, which is good, because I miss it. Anyways, I have a new toy, the T-57. Um, T-57 is slow. Its armor will not save you from most things. Um, its accuracy is good at point three three. The, uh, penetration is good. It's, I'm pretty sure it's the exact same as the E-5's gun. Uh, the burst. My god, the burst. Um, three shells, 400 alpha damage each. Simple math, it brings a lot of pain in 6.66 seconds. <laughs> yeah. The reload, about 20 seconds for 100% crew, plus both colas. Uh, the speed, again, slow. Go like 35. And for not having the armor, it's... It's not good. <laughs> the uh, turret and track traverse total is amazing though, because you you won't get caught in. You like there's not a medium in the game that I can just circle jerk you because you just turn too fast. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's good for mediums because just chews them up. But then you have to be able to back up and get into cover and hide behind your allies or a hill. This thing definitely is not a frontline tank, even a little bit. It's a second line support tank. If you try and frontline in it, you're going to have a bad time. But this E100, he recognized me from, I was playing him earlier, and uh, he wants me dead. So I'm going to try and not let that happen. He just fired, and I've got a full clip. So I'm going to start putting shells into him, and... I'm about to die because he's about to shoot me, but he dies and I get around the corner before that happens, which means we won 7-0 to zero. all in all. I'd say it was a pretty good match and I did a pretty good amount of damage, but just, just in case you guys missed it, you might want to rewind it. Did you guys see that max damage roll on the T-95? The first shell I put into him did 500 damage. Like what? That's... Like, not normal for that gun. That's crazy. Anyways, made a little bit of money because I'm on premium time. I didn't shoot any heat ammo, but I still barely made anything. So, obviously, not a, not a, not a money maker. Not, a, not something you want to play if you're trying to make money. But, I mean, you shouldn't be playing tier 10 trying to make money anyways. So, that's kind of a moot point. Anyways, canal, I'm going to the right because that's, I don't know, I like going to the right or I guess that direction on supremacy. I don't know why. I guess it really, it really kind of depends on what I'm driving. If I'm in a heavy, I'll go that way. If I'm a medium, I'll go the normal way. But I just, just never go down. <laughs> I just never... Unless you're going to quickly cap one of those things and then just get the hell out of there. Just, just don't go in the town because it's going to have a bad time. Don't go to the town in a normal counter match yet either. It's he who goes town is a moron. That is true for nine times out of ten during a match. Just remember that. He who goes town is a moron. Just remember that, okay? So when you're on my team, don't go town. <laughs> Unless it's like 
Himmelsdorf and you have to. And it's all town. But other than that, don't go town. Okay. Yeah, I pretty much made that Leo one wish he was never born and then knocked him back to a leopard prototype. Uh, I'm just capturing this because I can. There's nothing over here stopping me. And boom. Going up. Going to get some side shots in this E75. I think he's actually AFK. But then I spotted that guy. Started panicking a little bit, but then I realized he's not even looking at me. So I put the other two shells into the 183 and pull back for a reload. The reload's... Mm, I don't know. The T57, it's a little underwhelming overall. Um, I would definitely give it a speed buff. If you're going to buff something, buff the speed. And then maybe bring down the... Uh, the time between shells and the clip um, down to like two seconds like it is in PC because the uh, I don't know it just I can't really put my finger on what needs to be changed besides the speed the speed is obvious it needs to be faster for like the gameplay this thing like has like how you're supposed to play this tank it needs more speed um, speed and then I guess, I don't know, just the time between shells, I just, I want that to not be 3.33 seconds, I mean, I don't know, I don't know how Wargaming would better balance this besides making this go, like, at least 40 kilometers an hour, I don't know, it's, it's a tough tank to balance, I, they did a fairly good job at it, I mean, they took forever doing it, so they better have done a fairly good job at it. But uh, it's just missing something that's just preventing it from being like a really like a, a all around usable tank. Like it's not, it's definitely not the jack of all trades that the E5 is. But it doesn't really. I don't know. If it could be a better support tank, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Because I mean, it's definitely not a frontliner. It's not a sniper, because, God, if I see someone sniping this, I'm going to flip. It's not a frontliner, it's not a sniper. It's definitely a second-line support tank. So, really, you just, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm hoping to suggestions. If you guys comment what you think should be done about it, feel free. But, uh, I don't know. It's missing something. I can't put my finger on it. I'll probably think about it the second I stop this recording. And uh, I'm not going to redo it because I'm already eight minutes into the voice recording. And I'm too lazy to <laughs> edit it out because one, I don't think I know how to anyways. Oh, well. I ended up having a good match. Did four and a half thousand damage. And I, I, mean, it's, I mean, the tank's good, but... It needs to be faster. At the very least, it needs to be faster. And maybe bring the dam uh, the time between shells down some. Because it's just... I don't know. I can't really... Yeah, it's two and a half seconds between each shell. I feel like the tank needs to be more... You're in, you shoot, shoot again, you're out. And then that's... You're... I mean... I mean, 3.33 seconds... Medium tanks will shoot you twice when you're trying to shoot them just three times. And that's not the point of this tank. You're supposed to shoot them for, like, empty your entire clip for every one time they shoot you. That's the point of this tank. And if you can't do that, it's, I don't know, it's just not good enough. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed my video, and as always, have a nice day.